Hey everybody, Adam here with E-Trailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Thule Pro Ride roof mounted bike rack. So this is gonna be for your fat tire bikes. And when we're comparing these to some of the other ones that you have on the site, what really sets this one apart is this little arm. So if you do have fenders on your fat tire bike, this is gonna be one of the only options that you have to be able to lock it down. A lot of them do wheel hooks, but with this, it's actually really cool Whenever you're like ready to load up, you just press that button and it's ready to go. And then when you wanna tighten it down, you can tighten it down. I really like that. So if you do have some carbon fiber frame bikes, this isn't gonna be the best, but there is a little protector that you can grab, it does not come with it, that will just kind of protect that carbon fiber frame from any damage. But that's really what kind of sets this apart. It's gonna be able to work with fat tires up to five inches in width. As you can see, we got some really big tires. I think these are about 4.8 inches. So it really does fill up the whole entire cradle. And also we're gonna be able to have a max weight capacity of 44 pounds. No bike rack is perfect. I mess with every single one on our site and there's always at least one or two things that kind of give me a little bit of trouble. So let's kind of start there. With the Pro Ride, I really had a decent amount of trouble kind of mounting it down. We do get two different options. We can either do T-slot or wraparound, but these wraparounds, it just took me a while to kind of get it all set up. And I really think that Thule's idea with their mounting is, hey, you put it up there, you just leave it up there. This isn't a very easy rack to take on and off. So if you don't mind it staying up here, because you use it a lot, I definitely would say this is one that you kind of just want to keep up on your roof. It just gave me a little bit more trouble compared to some of the other ones. If you want one that's kind of fast to take on and off, the Rhinorack Hybrid Fat Tire Bike is a pretty good one. It didn't take me nearly half as much time as what this one did. So just keep that in mind. Just kind of envision what kind of rider you are. If you just want to keep it on your roof, go with the Thule. If not, you can go with the Rhinorack. One other thing I don't love about this rack is it doesn't come with locks. You gotta grab them separately. Just not a fan of that. If you do not want to have to grab anything separately, the Renorak Hybrid bike rack will come with locks. But really the bread and butter of the Pro Ride is the little arm here. I just think that it's just really well done and has nice little rubber pads. So it's really not going to damage your bikes, but also notice we have a big air gap here. So there's a lot of squishing that can happen. Some of them just have rubber pads and it's just one little thing of rubber. This just has two, with this cool little design. So it does give you a lot of cushion. One thing about the arm, I do like it. I like how it works. It's super easy and quick to use, but there are gonna be some odd framed bikes that aren't gonna really work with it that well or at all. So if you do have one of those weird kind of frame bikes. This is kind of up in the air whether it's gonna work or not. This is kind of a standard bike setup and it works pretty flawlessly, honestly. But all in all, if you are just kind of iffy on whether your bike's gonna work because it's a little weird, then I would definitely go with the Rhinorack as long as you just don't have fenders on your bike. So those are some things I like about the Pro Ride and some things I don't like about the Pro Ride. But now let's kind of continue on with the specs that you see with all the other type of roof mounted bike racks. Starting with the tube diameter, we want to make sure it's anywhere between 7 eighths of an inch in diameter all the way to 3 and 3 sixteenths of a diameter. And the way you kind of see how that works is that's all the way open. And of course, this is all the way closed. But you notice how this top one is a little bit on the inside here, so it can even go tighter than that. So really, that is a very large amount of different sizes that it works with. Another nice thing about the knob is you don't have to worry about over tightening. So even if I just use all my might, it's going to have a little torque setting. So you're not gonna over compress that little arm on your frames, which is nice our wheel trays are gonna be able to slide and that's gonna help us just accommodate for the different wheelbases. It will accept wheelbases up to 47 and a quarter of an inch. And as those start to get a little bit bigger, 
it starts to kind of get iffy, meaning it depends on your frame size. So this is a little bit more than 47 and a quarter, but it fits. So when you get a little bit bigger than that, up to like 51-ish inches in wheelbase, it all just depends on your frame size. It is gonna be able to accommodate for tire widths from 20 inches all the way to 29. So that's kind of pretty much any bike that you may have. All in all, the Pro Ride is pretty awesome. The arm works really, really well and super, super quick and easy. But this, again, is something that you just wanna install and kind of keep on there. It's one of those kind of things where it's a little bit too much of a hassle for me to take it off every single time I'm not using it. But it is made of anodized aluminum. Whatever pieces here aren't made of plastic, it's made of aluminum, so it's not like it's gonna rust away or anything. So again, I think it comes down to what kind of bikes you have. If you have a normal type frame bikes, this is gonna work really great for you. And also if you're one that likes to keep it up on your roof throughout the seasons, this is also gonna be your choice. But for me, I like to put stuff on my roof that I'm using and then when I'm done, I put it in my garage. So I'll probably go with the Rhino Rack, but that's just me. But this one does have a lot of features that are unique to this and really set it apart from all the others. Well, now we're gonna take it through our test course to see how it does. It's just gonna be a bunch of bumps and stuff just to kind of mimic what you're gonna see on the road. Let's see how sturdy it is. First, we'll start with the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on. And now with the fold speed bumps, these are gonna be pretty much like normal speed bumps. You get to see the up and down action of the bike rack and see how it holds up. And that's all there is to know about the Thule Pro Ride XT. And I'm Adam with E-Trailer. Thank you for watching.